What's happening with it? White Boy Radio back with another one. Came across a story, man, I wanted to put it out here for everybody. This is uh, one of these stories that you, you, you shake your head. I don't understand it. But this one here, we have a special type of uh, scumbag on this one. Let us uh, let me uh, pull this up and show you guys. I know you've heard about this in whatever city and county you live in. It's, it's mandatory that you have. In Florida, we get these a lot. But I, I just never can understand this type of scumbag. And here she is. So this is the old, um, I left the kids in the car and it's way too hot type of thing. Mom charged with murder in hot car death of six-month-old daughter. Lake Charles, Florida. That, now that's way in the panhandle. A mom was charged Thursday with second-degree murder in a hot car death of her six-year, six-month daughter. The sheriff's office said Ivy Lynn Lee, 23, left her daughter, Carissa, in her hot vehicle in August. Deputies said when Lee returned to her vehicle, she drove for approximately five minutes before flagging down a deputy on the roadway. However, officials said Lee told deputies two different stories, first claiming the child was not even in the car. Family members told KPLC that Lee had a similar experience in 2019 when she left another child who was only two months at the time unattended. Lee pleaded guilty to a criminal mischief, a slap on the wrist for this lady right here on that case. I don't get it. Uh, I don't get it. You know, you hear a lot about these in Florida and Look, man, I just want to paint this picture for everybody. There's no, uh, what do you say on this? Look, when you come back from grocery shopping uh, or going into Walmart, it's hot as hell when you open that door. It's extremely hot. It's, it's so hot you have to turn the car on and crank the AC on. Sometimes you break a sweat when you jump in the car. It's just extremely hot. There are, there's no excuse for that. There's only, there's only two reasons this happens. It doesn't matter if it's this case or any case. There's only two reasons. You are, either, you are either extremely ignorant and stupid that you forget that it's that hot when you get back in the car, or you meant to do it. That's it. That's it. Because, I mean, everybody, it doesn't even matter if you live, what, what state you live in. It's extremely hot on a hot day. How does so many moms leave the kid in there? You know, I think the only exception would be if you're in your driveway and the kid is in the car seat, okay, and let's just say you forgot your phone or your wallet is on the kitchen table and you could literally open the door, dart to the screen door, unlock the front door, grab the wallet, the cell phone, the, whatever was left, and back. If you could do all that within a minute and a minute and a half, that is the only exception. You cannot go into a store and shop. Uh, it's just, it, it, it doesn't make any sense. Um, and this lady did it twice. You know, she's a serial, a serial moron. Um, you would think, you would think this idiot would be on birth control or use condoms or something. I don't understand it. Uh, I don't even understand it. Uh, it's people like this. And the slap on the wrist is crazy. How do they only give criminal mischief for that? At least the first one they did, but now she's looking at a murder charge. Um, unreal. Unreal. I know you guys have heard about this, a story like this in the state that you live. Unfortunately, here in Florida, uh, we get them a lot. We get them a lot. But that's all they had on this one. Uh, I wanted to bring to everybody. Uh, this, is, this, is, this is a very disturbing and disgusting way for a child to lose his life, his or her life. It's, it's complete scumbaggery. It's complete. There's no excuse for it. And, man, I hope these judges, they need to start making an example out of people like this. How many more of these do we have to see, go through, listen to, read about? Criminal mischief, just so you know, that's a, that's a, that's a complete, in the state of Florida, which is where this case is, it, it is a misdemeanor. I have a criminal mischief. Back when I was ripping and running, back in my um, days of breaking the law, 
uh, I got a criminal mischief one time. All that is is uh, they gave me criminal mischief because I was in the back of a police car. Uh, I was handcuffed, and I, I did the whole time to get out the handcuffs routine, or tried to. So I put my hands under my uh, my uh, legs, and they're in front of me. Okay, I have the handcuffs, and I went to the door handle and on the inside of the car, uh, squad car, and I was pulling it. It's, it was locked, and I broke the handle. Now, I got my ass kicked for this. Uh, later on down the road, the guy pulled over and hogtied me and, and proceeded to shove my face in the leather seat. Hey, look, it was my own fault. But I broke the handle, okay, of the car. So he charged me with criminal mischief. It's only a misdemeanor, okay? I, I got arrested for a, a, a mound of charges that day, but it was not It was just another one on top of everything. It was nothing, okay? It's nothing. Um, that is like uh, at work. You, you're not faced any jail time with that. You know, maybe six months um, misdemeanor probation is the worst this lady's looking at. Looking at, And I can tell you that I had that same charge in Florida just as she has. It's just different parts of Florida. But they got to start putting down, um, you know, they got to start doing something, man, because people are getting slapped on the wrist. If you notice, man, um, I'm, I don't even really want to bring up chomos and predators and, 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 and S.A. people. They get slaps on the wrist. We all know this. But if you take a look at things, man, children have no really uh, – they have no voice in the criminal system. There, there, there really comes no justice for them. Um, you know, it, 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 it's sad, and it, it makes you wonder, like, do they do that because maybe she's a single mom, so they can't really throw her in jail without having, you know, without the kid having to have a situation there, CPS, DCF, whatever, whatever it's called in your state. Do they get involved at that point? Is that why they give them a slap on the wrist? I don't know, man. Uh, let me know in the comments with this one. Um, I'm signing off. Hashtag save our children. I'll keep you updated with this. If it comes on my notifications in my news feed, um, but women leave their kids in a hot vehicle. You know, if the ultimate sin happens at that point, which it did in this situation, for this lady that left her kid in a hot vehicle, one can only uh, hope that when her when she her days end on life. Maybe she has a hot place to go to, too. I don't know. Tell me how you feel about it. It's White Boy Radio, man. I'm out of here. Smash the members below. Hit that like, and uh, I'll catch y'all in the next one. Hit it like Mike. Be like Mike. Mike, show him the like. Bam. And there it is. We're out. I care less about that attorney and whatever he feels and thinks about. That family has ignored phone calls. That girl used to live there.